Hello, everybody. Good afternoon and welcome back from, from lunch. It was wonderful to see so many um, engaging interactions going on around the poster sessions, and I hope you enjoyed the posters. Um, so it's my honor now to introduce Wei Wei Zhou. So Wei Wei Zhou received his PhD in Beijing Union Medical College, and after postdoctoral training at Washington University in St. Louis, at the NIH and working on as a research scientist here at the McGovern Institute for Brain Research, he joined SIAT as a principal investigator in 2014. And his talk title this afternoon is Research Insights from the Brain Cognition and Brain Disease Institute at SIAT. Welcome. Okay. Uh, thank you, Sabi. And uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, the organizer uh, to give us this opportunity to introduce our institute, the Brain Cognition and the Brain Disease uh, Institute at SEAT. Uh, it is a great, all, a great pleasure and uh, honor for us. Uh, actually, original this talk, uh, actually our director Li Ping Wang should come to uh, present this, but uh, he cannot make the trip because uh, he cannot get with uh, <laughs> on time. So anyway, uh, just as uh, Sabi mentioned, I have been working here for a long, long time, uh, for quite a long time. So it's very nice to be back and uh, to be to meet friends in this bigger uh, McGovern Institute family. So a brief history about our institute. Uh, this picture shows our institute. And our institute is established officially on uh, November 16, 2014. And uh, we are very grateful, grateful to uh, McGowan Institute and the foundation. Uh, the collaboration between us and the McGowan Institute is very helpful for us to grow up. Later, we, uh, the two sides, the SEAT and the McGowan Institute, signed a memo for collaboration. In the past years, uh, Bob and uh, Guoping have visited us many, many times, gave us a lot of suggestions, and uh, uh, we also have ongoing uh, research project uh, later I will mention about uh, the uh, transgenic uh, model, primate model. Uh, in the past uh, four years, our institute have grown very quickly. Um, 2015, we have uh, this totally the number of research about 45. In, uh, at the current, we have a uh, total research almost uh, one, uh, 200. Uh, now we have uh, 16 investigator and uh, 13 uh, associate investigator. Here is the organization of our institute. We have the academic advisory board. Uh, our leadership includes the director, uh, Professor Li Ping Wang, me, and the three assistant investigator. Uh, based on the research direction, we have four. Uh, we form four research center. Uh, the center for the uh, neural circuit and the behavior, and the Center for Brain and the Intelligence Technology, and the Center for Neurodevelopment and the Neurodegenerative Disease, and the, the Center for Gene Editing and the Brain Disease Models. Uh, based on what Bob said about uh, how to form the <laughs> institute, I would say that these two institute, these two centers is more on the system and the behavior level. These two are more on the molecular and the cellular level. Um, the Center for the Neural Circuit and, brain be uh, and the Behavior is led by uh, Professor Li Ping Wang. And uh, this is the large uh, uh, center in our institute. It's almost half the size of our institute. Uh, this uh, center is, uh, is focused on the neural circuit of innate behavior and the circuit dysfunction in related brain disorder. They also focus on the mechanism underlying clear modulation of neural circuit function. They also uh, develop some new technique and a tool for brain circuit uh, research. Uh, next, I will show some example uh, uh, of research uh, in this center. Uh, the first is about the neural circuit of the innate behavior. Uh, Li Ping Wang's group have uh, investigated the neural circuit underlying the innate behavior. They identify a uh, uh, super Clicklers RP Salam's uh, neural circuit response for the uh, innate behavior. They also studied the uh, innate uh, defensive response. 
they have investigated the uh, neural circle between uh, superclicus and RC uh, that mediate the stress induced uh, uh, induce axillary defensive response. Uh, uh, Li Pingwang's group also uh, study on the optogenetic op inhibition of cellular related activity. Uh, they have done the optical uh, activation of hippocampal gabinergic interneuron, found out that result in a long lasting uh, inhibitory effect on the scissor in free moving animal. The uh, power spectrum you can see at the top is without the uh, optical stimulation. After the optical uh, stimulation, we can see the scissor related activity has been reduced significantly. Uh, they also derived some tool for the neural modulation and the recording. Uh, they derived the multi-channel, uh, the multi-channel uh, optical array for the circular dissection in vivo. They also derived the uh, soft and stretchable optical fiber for uh, chronic optical stimulation. <coughs> uh, the Central for Brain and Intelligent Technology has been led by me. Uh, our uh, central have uh, uh, four members and uh, two investigators, me and uh, Jian Yang, and uh, another associate investigator. Uh, our center has been focused on the neural mechanism of visual cognition, such as visual attention, visual categorization, and the social behaviors. We also recently we also carried out some research on neural network model for this uh, cognitive mechanism. Uh, we also uh, for study the mechanism of uh, machine recognition of cognitive impairment in some brain disorder. Uh, as we know, I have been working in Bob's lab, so my research has been focused on the uh, neural mechanism of visual attention. In the past year, we have investigated the uh, neural circuit between prefrontal cortex and visual cortex underlying the visual attention. We also study the uh, neural circuit between visual cortex and printer uh, underlying the spatial attention. Zhang uh, uh, Yang in over uh, central here have uh, uh, investigated the neuro neural mechanism of social behaviors. Uh, he have uh, studied the social defeat and uh, fun, uh, fun, uh, dissect a uh, prefrontal PAG circuit that mediate this social defensive behavior. Uh, they also work with uh, uh, people in Zhejiang University and uh, study the social dominance and f uh, figure out the uh, prefrontal and the uh, uh, prefrontal media prefrontal cortex and the media dorsal thalamus. Uh, this circuit uh, is play an important role in this social dominance behavior. Uh, the Center for Neural Development and Neurodegenerative uh, Disease is led by. Uh, Professor Chen Yu, and uh, his center have uh, three members, uh, led by Chen Yu and another two associate uh, investigators. They are interested in, in the mechanism of biomarkers of neurodevelopmental and neurodegenerative disease. They also are interested in the contribution of peripheral uh, immune system to the neurodegenerative disease. Uh, this is the study uh, from uh, uh, from Chinese uh, Chinese work, they identif they have working on the identification of genetic uh, risk factor of AD. They use the GWAS and the big data analysis and other methods I don't know, and they identify <laughs> the common variant of GCH and the KCNG15 in the Chinese population that contribute to Alzheimer's disease risk. And uh, uh, Gao Liang in this center, he investigated the peripheral immune system on the neurodegenerative disease, and they found out the uh, peripheral infra treating immune, immune cells contribute to the uh, Parkinson disease progression. Uh, the, the fourth center for the gene, uh, gene editing brain disease model is led by Professor uh, Zhonghua, uh, Lu Zhonghua. Uh, in this center have uh, seven investigators and uh, the associate investigator. In this uh, center, they are focused on the, uh, to develop non-human primate and the rodent disease model, use gene editing method. They also explore the mechanism of brain disorder in these uh, disease models. 
uh, he has worked uh, by collaboration between uh, this center, me, uh, Bob, and Guoping is about the SAC3 gene editing monkey model. Uh, here is some um, gene evidence. Here is the behavior. Uh, in this model, they show the mutation uh, uh, in social social part. I think uh, uh, Guoping will uh, show the detail, and I just mentioned a little bit. And uh, uh, also, the the. Uh, uh, Dr. Zhu uh, Yingjie, uh, in this center, he investigated the silence processing in the PVT and associated learning. They find out that the cell in this area is able to uh, code in the silence of the stimuli. And they also find that this, uh, if silence the one group of this cell, will cause the, the, the uh, mouse cannot learn the associative task. So it means the PVT can get in the associative learning by providing dynamic representation of stimuli silence. Yeah, here is a very brief introduction of our institute. Uh, if you have a further question about detail and other question, I'll be very happy to address. And uh, uh, this uh, last uh, uh, slide uh, about the Shenzhen and Hong Kong Institute of Brain Science. Uh, uh, actually, uh, recently the Shenzhen government have, have approved to establish this institute, uh, which should have a positive influence on uh, our institute. A little bit background. Uh, from this map, you can see Hong Kong is here, Shenzhen is here. They are located in this uh, uh, so-called Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau Bay area, um, marked by the orange. And uh, recently, the Chinese government announced the Guangdong, uh, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area Initiative to promote the further development in this area, which also includes the promote the uh, uh, advance of science and technology in this area. So in this background, uh, Shenzhen decided to uh, establish this Shenzhen Hong Kong Institute of Brain Science. And uh, this is a new institute founded by Shenzhen, uh, will be built, uh, joined by SEAT, uh, Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, and other research institutions in the two cities. Uh, this institute plans to have uh, like uh, 60 APIs with uh, covering uh, fundamental and applied research on neuroscience. Uh, last, I'd like to uh, uh, thank the funding agency, uh, as I've said, uh, Ministry of Science and Technology China, uh, Chinese Academy of Science, Guangdong Province, and Shenzhen City. Uh, finally, uh, we are very grateful to my government institute and my government uh, foundation uh, for their help and uh, support. Okay, thank you. Uh, questions for Weiwei? Hello. It's very admirable that these large consortia are being formed in China across different geographic areas. It's really wonderful. And my question is, is there a, any a formal cooperative organization among these various uh, large uh, conglomerates? It's extremely impressive. Uh, I think it's this morning, and uh, Fang Fang, uh, Professor Fang Fang had mentioned uh, the Chinese uh, uh, brain plan. And uh, I think uh, this. Uh, uh, the institute established in different cities like uh, Shenzhen, uh, like Shenzhen, Shanghai, and uh, Beijing, uh, mainly cooperated to this uh, big uh, brain plan. And uh, also, we have a connection with Shanghai and uh, Beijing. And uh, yes. Thank you. That's fantastic. You are the. the the research institute here seems to be a lot of the work have been done in the basic research. Any the kind of clinical, the kind of research have been done, for instance, the uh, Alzheimer's disease and uh, Parkinson's disease in the clinical. 
basic. Yes. Uh, for the applied research, is very important uh, in the future of our institute. And we already established a collaboration with the hospital in the local area and in Guangzhou. I think we will, yeah, because our institute is still young, but we will further the development in that part, have a further collaboration with the hospital to, to carry out this uh, clinical research. Yeah. If there are no further questions, please join me in thanking Dr. Zhou. Thank